you know, why do you look at dates? You know, it, it doesn't matter when he's coming. We should focus on evangelizing and, you know, other, or, or other parts of the Bible. When you say that to me, it's like you're saying, whether you know it or not, don't give us what God gave you. Don't, you're wasting your time. Don't give us what God gave you. That is actually what you're saying to me. And to be honest with you, that's pretty serious. You don't tell people just don't give what God gave you because you don't understand why God gives me what he gives me. There are many people who love watching for a date where it looks like it's a good possibility the Lord's going to show up. They love it. Even if it passes, it gives them hope. And I'm, I'm one of them. Okay. Let's say I'm going through something down and out and suddenly, wow, someone, someone comes up with this amazing rapture scenario where it looks like it could happen with good reasons, good reasons. It has helped me get through whatever I was going through. Many, many times, and many of you out there have said the same thing to me. I remember one sister, she was like, she was in so much agony. There was this possible date for that month. And she was so happy that even when it passed, she told me I couldn't have survived without that. The hope that it might be that day. I couldn't have survived. It took so much of the pain away from the situation that she was going through. And then by the time the date passed, <clears throat> she was okay. I have seen this happen over and over again. And that's why I don't like it when people tell me, oh, don't look at dates. That's like saying, like I said before, don't do what God tells you to do. You know, and, and what about all the people who love looking at dates and how about them? It helps them. Do you not care about the ones that it helps? Why don't you care about all the hundreds, thousands of people that it helps to, to watch dates? Jesus said to watch. Okay. He didn't just say, okay, there's some earthquakes and there's going to be wars and rumors of war. They're going to try to build the temple mount. You know, maybe you'll see the two heifers, um, you know, on and on and on <clears throat> the fig tree generation and all that. So why would he say to watch? And if you don't, you won't know the hour that he's coming. Matthew 25. If you don't, you won't know the hour that he's coming. Why would he say that? <clears throat> if he didn't have more to tell us besides the earthquakes and the rumors of war. If you're, if you are watching, looks like you might know the hour. Cause if you're not watching, you won't know the hour. He said it, not me. Okay. You guys need to stop judging people who watch dates. And like, you don't care about all the other brothers and sisters who it helps. It helps. So do you care about them? Or do you only care about the way that you think yourself? Because you're so used to hearing the enemy say, no one knows the day or hour, no one knows the day or hour, so you're not supposed to watch, you're not supposed to watch. I am so sick of that scripture, can't even tell you. You think he doesn't want you to know when he's coming? Do you really think he, that he doesn't want you to know? I mean, that's crazy if you think about it. But hopefully now you'll understand why you do damage. You can do damage to me, to many people saying that. Jesus said to watch several times in the New Testament. Many times he says, watch therefore, watch therefore, watch. I say to you, that's what I say to all, watch. I mean, watch for Jesus' return. Watch for these things that are coming to the earth. Watch for these signs, these harbingers of the tribulation because they're upon us, guys. They are upon us. I understand that, you know, some people like to watch, like the high watch times and some people don't. But for me, like I'd rather watch because the word talks so much about watching and not being caught off guard like a thief. <laughs> so I just love, for me, it's, it's a really great way to watch for the Lord and just knowing that I have to be ready every day. You know, it's kind of like, um, if you're running, like, like I used to run ultra marathons like back years ago. And you know, when you run a long race and you have those places to stop and get yourself refreshed and have a snack, it kind of like gives you something to look forward to 
and then it kind of like helps keep you going because you kind of are able to break up the journey into small pieces and for me watch times it's kind of like that rapture ready which is gonna literally happen at any time this year i believe this year we're the church we are to know the the hour we are in the hour and we will know when the rapture happens because we're the church we're his bride for those of you who say no man knows the day or hour and that you cannot predict the timing of the rapture, I have pulled up Bible Gateway here, Matthew 24, verses 35 and 36, to show you that that phrase is not talking about the rapture. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So you will see here that the no man knows the day or hour is actually talking about heaven and earth passing away. So that phrase, no man knows the day or hour, is not talking about the rapture. John says in Revelation 3 verse 3, Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. This means that if you will watch, he will not come upon you as a thief, and you will know what hour he will come. Paul says that if we are not in darkness or ignorance, this day will not overtake us as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 4 But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. If no man knows the hour, then Jesus would not have said, if you had known, you would have watched. Matthew 24, verse 43. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, Jesus wants us to know the window of time the tribulation will start, because if we had known, we would have watched. The Bible instructs us repeatedly to watch. Scripture also gives us a list of things that we should be watching for that will indicate we are approaching the tribulation. We are seeing all of those signs in the world today, and they are intensifying in severity and frequency every day. If you'd like to keep updated on world events, I have created a handy playlist of end times updates. Please go to the playlist tab on my channel and find the watching together list. I am constantly adding new videos to the list from a variety of Watchmen channels. We clearly see in the world today, we are living in the end times right now. Watching the signs given to us in scripture tell us that the tribulation is about to begin. This is how we know when the rapture will happen, because it will occur before the tribulation. And if the tribulation is upon us, then the rapture is even closer. Please go to my channel to find a video that describes the rapture and its timing in further detail. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.